Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. I get more people telling me they struggle with nutrition than anything else in fitness. So I got some quick and easy steps that I'm gonna give you to focus on and put into action right away that's gonna make it simple and easy for you to improve your nutrition today. Step number one, each morning I have one of these full of water, about 20 ounces, I squeeze half a lemon in it. This is never a fail for me. I can mess up, I can be on vacation, I can do bad last night, and I always start my day off well, no matter what's going on. It only takes a couple minutes. So hydration, step number one. Step number two to better nutrition is being prepared. One thing I have a lot of my new clients do right in the beginning is write down each night what they're going to eat tomorrow. Having that one step ahead of the game makes it that much easier. I find most people fail when it's been a long time since you've ate last and then you don't know what to eat and you don't have anything prepared. So being prepared, such as myself, I have rice ready to go, I have some cooked white fish, I have always have some different vegetables or greens whether they're cooked or not cooked, and just all those things on hand. Step number three is how to cut out some of the processed sugars and junk right away that you won't even miss. So one piece that I take out pretty quickly is all the sugar and other kinds of dairy in my coffee. Now don't get me wrong, I love some cream in my coffee. But right now I'm doing this challenge with another trainer so I'm trying to cut down fairly quickly and really transform. And in the beginnings here, it's still okay to have a little bit of leeway. And the little bit of leeway is just gonna be this protein powder. Now this, I would not say is your ideal health. It tastes good and it has good amounts of protein so I use this for creamer in my coffee. I put about a quarter scoop into my coffee, stirring it in, and that's just as good as any creamer and sugar. I also use some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is a big staple of mine that I use regularly in my life. And the last thing, and this is one thing that I can give a lot of people to take action right now, that's gonna help you right out the gates, and that's eating over 50% vegetables on the day. So with my lunch, first thing I do is I have a big bowl, and this is raw broccoli slaw. I then have some light Italian dressing. I'll throw that in there. This is a regular meal for me, and right now I'm cutting weight, trying to trim down a little bit. COVID-19 is upon me. So I'm gonna be having about a half cup of wild rice twice a day. I did a little bit morning cardio, stretching, some other stuff, done some work. It's uh, about 12.30 on a Sunday, so I'm gonna do a half cup of this wild rice in here. So, boom, boom, boom. Exactly measured, didn't spill, half cup wild rice. Then, I have baked white fish, and I'm gonna put exactly eight ounces of that on this. See my exact measurement. Now the reason I say that is, if you're not in competition prep, I do not believe in measuring food. If you have never measured food before, maybe for a week, just so you can get a better idea of how to eyeball, can be beneficial. But measuring food all the time is not sustainable. Food logging every day is not sustainable. I do have clients do a food log, usually for three, four days at a time, if we're struggling and I don't think things are getting done properly, I'm like, okay, we need three days of logging everything you eat. That's doable, it's only three days. Logging your food year round, measuring year round, I don't know anyone who does it unless they're an extreme person and that's not the majority. So the advice I'm putting together for everyone today is for regular day-to-day -day life, busy professionals with families, even the stay-at-home moms who have kids running around, that's a lot to take care of. I have time to measure your food. But what we do have time for is to throw stuff in a bowl like this. Now this is fine for me, I'll stir it up, and that's my uh, lunch, meal number two. And roughly, if I had to guess the calories on this, it's probably gonna be about, I would say, 350 calories with about 45 to 50 grams of protein. And then a half cup of rice, you get about 30 grams of carbs. Now I might be a little off on that, but that's okay. It's not about being perfect on the numbers. It's about not going off the wagon, such as I have no prepared food, I don't have anything planned out, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm like, crap, I'm really hungry, what am I gonna do? I grab a tortilla, I grab some cheese, I throw some chicken on it into the microwave. Now that's delicious and terrible for me. So, having this is gonna actually push me towards my goals, 
And right now, being in a competition with another trainer to just see who can transform faster and do a better job, I gotta win. So, I'm gonna do it my way, be prepared, have stuff ready to go, and execute. Keep doing your best. Let me know how I can help. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna help you out more, it's free. Let's go, stay healthy my friends.